Where do you start when the Craven's estate you are restoring into a modern-day showplace has two stories full of rooms which must be changed? Yet walls and ceilings cannot be ripped out because this is an historic mansion, so every detail has to be preserved or enhanced. It's a daunting task for Delise Menick, president of the Pasadena Showcase House of Design 2010. Every day is kind of a transformation. As I said, our designers are going through and really testing a lot of processes when they first start. A lot of it might be color tweaking, uh, faux finishes, glazes. The bones are coming out that they're beautiful. Every day we find kind of something that's unique, um, a little gem somewhere. The project called for historical architects and advisors, a team of volunteers, and 26 interior design spaces from the entry, known as the Grand Gallery. This is larger than most living rooms. Um, the Cravens did extensively entertain. We know that by the coat closet that's in the foyer. Um, I would say at least 80 coats could be held there. To the kitchen, which is large by modern standards, covering an L-shaped wing on the front of the house. But this was actually just the butler's pantry in the original estate, where they kept the stacks of fine china and silver for entertaining. The pantry's original woodwork and floor had to stay. But designer Cynthia Bennett of South Pasadena says there's something unique for the 21st century. Even the fabrics and the wood that we're using in the, cab in the new cabinets is FSC certified, which means it's from a certifiable forest that can be cut. Countertops are both new and old. This is chips of old glass that has been recycled and put into a base, of, of a concrete base that is all um, recycled material. 50 years of wax on top of wax over the original tile floor turned it a different color, something not discovered until it was removed. It was a dark teal green. We ordered uh, this wall tile to go with it. By the time we had gotten the, the wall tile, it turned out the floor was cleaned and it's actually bright turquoise. There are multiple exterior design spaces which will include an outdoor kitchen and terrace garden, which was not a part of the original 1930 house but adds a functional space which is environmentally friendly. A checkerboard design of turf, pavers, and water features perfect for outdoor entertaining. I think the inspiration was probably when they told me that the house was going to be used for wedding banquets and, and functions after the, uh, the showcase. It just gave me an idea of having somewhere where in our beautiful California weather we can be outside. This is a great place to sit, you know, just a few friends to sit and have a nice cocktail. When it came to redoing the gentleman's bathroom on the second floor, Phil Vonk was told he could not remove the old black and white tiles on the walls and floors. His solution? Cover them with new woodwork. By bringing the moldings and stuff like that, it really stays true to who I am as far as a designer. I'm not only a designer, interior designer, but I also i am a cabinet maker. So we were really able to show off our skills this way by adding all the moldings and bringing uh, the wainscoting in and the new cabinetry. The Cravens Estate is coming together in its makeover, but there's still a lot of work to perform before it opens to the public on Sunday, April 18th. Is there something Showcase House volunteers might like to do before the public steps inside? <laughs> well, when no one's here, we'll probably bounce on the beds a little just to feel what the beautiful linens are like. No, I'm joking. The designer would kill us if we did that. We're not supposed to touch. It is amazing to, before we open to the public and we go around and turn on all the lights and all the music, and to be in a house of this stature, it's, it's really kind of overwhelming. The Pasadena Showcase House of Design 2010 invites all of you to take a step into the past while finding features here for your home of the future.